Please notice in the video you're about to see the use of a spray gun unlike the one you received in your Corrosion X system. This is not a mistake. After making the aircraft spraying operation video, Corrosion Technologies found an even better way to improve spraying operations with this new, extremely easy to use spray gun. All you have to do is pull the trigger. Now let's begin our Corrosion X aircraft spraying operations. We would like to introduce to you the new Corrosion Technology Aircraft Spraying System. This new sprayer is the most cost-effective and easy-to-use system ever devised. And unlike other sprayers, the Corrosion Technology Spray System requires no assembly. By filling the tank, attaching an air hose, and opening the regulator, you're ready to begin corrosion protection of the aircraft. The Corrosion Technology Spraying System for Aircraft comes with this convenient and durable 25-foot hose. One of the most popular features of the Corrosion Technology Sprayer is its portability. Mounted on a sturdy base, this 5-gallon capacity system can be easily wheeled to various locations. And you can even adjust the volume of the material by this easy hand adjustment method by turning counterclockwise to affect a coarser spray and clockwise for a lighter spray. The Corrosion X Aviation Spraying System comes with some special devices to help you thoroughly treat the aircraft. First is an 8 foot quarter inch straight rod with a 360 degree range. Second is a 6 foot 3 16th inch straight rod with a 180 degree range. Next is a 4 foot quarter inch rod with a 360 degree range and a 36 inch super flex angled fan wand. Next, a five inch by eighth inch hook rod. This is used for accessing through rivet holes and what's called a cricket fan spray nozzle. You'll be able to see how these spray devices would work as we go through the spray demonstration on the actual aircraft. Incidentally, the Corrosion X system can be used for engine washdowns or other solvents and also special wands are available for almost every spraying operation. Here's a demonstration. We cut away a section of this aircraft tail section and placed a plexiglass window so you can see how effectively a spray can be used to cover even the most difficult application job. We attached the special wand and drilled a number 30 hole in the panel. Inserting our 90 degree mini wand, we now engage the spray. In this case, we're using our Corrosion X formula. As you can see, the entire internal surface area is saturated, including difficult metal seam areas are also treated. Now let's turn our attention to the actual use of the system on aircraft. We've prepared our aircraft beforehand, anticipating a shooting scheme for the Corrosion X process. You also can save time by preparing the aircraft before actual spraying, by opening cockpit doors, removing access plates, wingtips, engine cowling, lowering flaps, and developing a strategy or shooting sequence to save time and energy. Your Corrosion X system comes with various wands or rods. The larger diameter rods are, of course, to cover the larger span areas and the smaller for smaller access areas. Also, the flexible wand is used to access areas where full rotation motion is required. The spray gun can be used by itself when the need arises. The rule of thumb here is in determining which device to use will depend on finding the optimum balance between convenience and effectiveness. The 6 foot 3 16th inch wand is specially designed with a directional curve and is ideal for treating controlled surfaces. Also you may adjust the spray using the pin adjustment lever at the opposite end of the wand. Later in this video we'll demonstrate the practicality of these features. Let's begin with the fuselage of our aircraft and specifically the engine and its compartment. Note, we've covered only the dry vacuum pump inlet with plastic wrap. 
it won't be necessary to cover other engine components, but try to avoid spraying on any belts or filters. We begin treating our engine and make an attempt to reach all areas. Moving to the other side of the engine, we've continued the process. You also have the option to use the Cricut nozzle here to cover more area in a shorter amount of time. Let's now go to the nose gear and wheel well. Again, the process is simplified by using a wand and letting the spray do the work. The amount of material used will vary depending on the condition of the aircraft. Older planes would require more corrosion X and additional attention to detail. In order to determine proper coverage, visually inspect the treated surfaces for a wet, shiny appearance. Now moving to the cockpit area. Remember to leave doors open while spraying throughout this area and by doing so will keep material from settling on vinyl or fabric inside the cabin. We're first fogging all areas through the access plates into the belly of the aircraft. It won't take long to get kind of a feel for this process, and likewise, your efficiency will improve with time as you continue the Corrosion X treatment process. We'll now demonstrate the treatment to the rear cabin area of the fuselage. In most cases, access will be through the tail stinger using the quarter inch, eight foot wand. In this instance, we've accessed through the fuselage, making use again of the spray gun. Be sure when beginning to corrosion protect this area to cover oxygen tank fittings with plastic wrap. Also, special attention should be given to avoid spraying on the autopilot servo. If you should inadvertently drench the servo clutch with Corrosion X, clean the clutch with an approved contact cleaner. Use the same method in spraying wheel wells and basically all components on the aircraft, grounding points, cannon plugs, and micro switches. We now turn our attention away from the fuselage and begin treating the wing and tail assembly. In preparation, we've placed the quarter inch diameter eight foot wand on the spray gun and, having already removed the wing tips, will access the interior of the structure. Begin the treatment with extending the rod, usually through a lightning hole, as far into the wing as possible. Some trial and error is necessary here to find the exact route and how far the rod will reach, making a total of four passes to thoroughly fog all areas. And there you have it. This is the basic method used for corrosion treatment using the fog effect in almost all of the wing and tail sections. In most cases, you'll find additional access through inspection ports. All areas of the aircraft should be treated because all areas, such as flaps, rudders, aileron, stabilizer, are places where corrosion will occur. So thoroughness counts. The challenge here is a test of your own ingenuity to find the best access to the internal structure of the aircraft. Also, you'll need to determine if too much fogging or material is being used. The rule of thumb here is to look for excessive material coming through lap joints or as shown here. If this happens, less time fogging in the structure should be performed. Again, you'll acquire a feel for this process and it's easy to learn. Also, it's advisable to delay corrosion treating an aircraft if it's going to be painted within six months. And last, you may want to wipe down the propeller that sometimes is affected by salt water moisture. And there you have it. Your Corrosion X treatment efforts will extend the life of the aircraft and make maintenance much easier to perform.